Hey YouTube, Dene here. I'm going to go over a quick um, duty gear and duty belt setup. This uh, the duty belt is going to be a GNG uh, two and a fourth inch um, leather duty belt basket weave. I have a GNG open top handcuff case with uh, peerless chain handcuffs. I also um, have an open top magazine pouch, which is made by Safara Land, it's an older pouch. And it has uh, 17 round Glock mags. I have an Acre silent key holder. And as you can see, the handcuff case, the magazine uh, pouch, and the silent key holder basket weave. I also have a Motorola HT1250 um, radio holder. It's one that attaches to the belt loop that also has snaps. It fits more securely than the swivel type holsters. I also have the um, Zark International um, OC holder that's made and designed to only hold the uh, Capstone and Vexor products. And this is a snap closure and basket weave as well. I also have the uh, Safari Land Glock 17 uh, light holster with the rotating um, brake at the top. And I also have a Bianchi 26 inch um, open top baton holder. And the belt is a buckless belt system. It has two hook prongs that will slide into these holes here and they secure very well and it has like a little um, belt loop deal that helps it hold securely I took that off for the purpose of this video but usually I'll have it sitting here and I'll move it to the side where it sits here but it holds the um, duty uh, belt securely and this is the front end of the belt. So I have a little more. So this will be the front. So I moved the magazine closer to the front. Uh, sent key holder to the front of my radio. Um, that's all I use, have. Um, I do have a stinger light and a scorpion light. But I don't have the attachments for this duty belt yet. Which I'm going to be working on getting. Um, so I just uh, keep it my... Uh, rear pocket because they're small anyway. They're not like huge lights or anything like that, but um uh, And not, not messing with anything at night so I don't have to worry about it. So I just want to bring you guys this quick uh, video on the duty gear and um, Duty belt um, From GNG of course there's a mixture of Safari land acre Motorola Zark um, and Bianchi on this belt but going to leather, like I said, um, these are actually the actual original leather. Um, they haven't been broken into. And um, these ones I'm still working on. Um, I just put this on to show you guys. On the um, belt itself, the open top case, the silent key holder, I and the um, Zark um, M, uh, OC holder, I have went over with a gloss um as you can see, it's right, that's right, it's shiny. It was, it's called Leather Luster. It's a kit that comes with a leather cleaner to use the cleaner. And it gets all dull and gray because it takes off all the actual um, leather polish or you know, oils that they use on it. And then you let it dry out and then you go over it with the gloss. Let it dry. You can buff it out with the uh, steel wool they give you and then go over another coat of the leather luster to gloss and let it dry and it'll come out shiny so i'm going to be doing it to this one here and also to the motorola and then probably do um probably leave my holster the way it is because i don't want it to be too glossy as well i decided to do this to see how it turned out but this is the g and g um, duty belt and duty gear again with a mixture of uh, safari land acre and um, bianchi motorola and and so forth so thank you guys for watching my video i said i give you guys an update of how my duty belt is set up again still um if i'm looking down this would be toward my front so i'm right-handed so i have uh, my handcuff case to the front here uh, my oc my weapon my baton my radio uh my uh, 
key where I keep my sign key holder and my magazine. As you notice, again, I don't have a taser holster in here. I don't believe in tasers. I don't like tasers. They're ineffective. So I don't, that's not, that's not going to ever go on my belt. Um, but this is how it's set up. And as you can see, um, has the, they all have the um, basket weave finish except for the uh, Motorola. That's a plain leather. So again, I'll do another video later on to let you guys know how it done with my daily use where um, exposure to elements and so forth. Um, so thank you guys for watching my video. You guys have a good day and be safe out there.